this movie, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Microsoft AD server via LDAP to Edge VPN server. On the left side in the browser, the deploy Debian configuration how to is visible. And we assume you have already successfully deployed a basic Edge VPN server. In this documentation, information is linked to setting up an LDAP server too. You could also do it via Radius or via SAML. Let's go to LDAP. So, in this configuration, we do a basic LDAP configuration and we are using just LDAP and not LDAP S. The S stands for secure. However, in a production environment, you should choose the secure variant. So be aware of that. First, we're going to figure out how we should set up the LDAP configuration. We use a tool called LDAP search for that. So we are using a Debian server, which you see on the right side. And I'm going to install the tool. Let's deploy that one. And then we need to restart PHP. All done. Then we have some information depending on what kind of LDAP server you are using. In this example, we assume you have an Active Directory deployed. And of course, you need to know where your LDAP is located. In this example, I'm just using an IP address, an internal address. The AD server is just next to the Edge VPN server deployed in an Azure Cloud environment. So here we are first going to try out if we can successfully query the LDAP server. So let me take So we did a successful query to the uh, AD server via LDAP. And we can see it's successful because we get the full username back, Jan Jensen. So, and this Jan Jensen, he has a special group attribute, which I created in the Active Directory. And this special group attribute, we can filter on that and give him additional permission based on that. So, where is it? So he's a member of a group called EduVPN Admin. And this information is, is uh, required. And we can filter on that in uh, the configuration and make him, based on this membership, an administrator on our Edge VPN server. So the query was successful. And because of the successful query, we can figure out how we should create our configuration. The configuration file is located in etc. VPN user portal config PHP. So now we are going to first become root VPN user portal. Let's make a copy. Then going to edit config PHP. Here. So on top we are going to create, we're going to first change the out method to LDAP. So it's currently this one that allows local users and we need to change that in form LDAP authentication. The session the VPN session expiry is currently 90 days. This is default, but you can change it to a week, a week, a day, an hour, whatever you like. So after the session expired, the user need to re-log in, re-authenticate basically. So in this array, we define the LDAP configuration. This is, oh, let me remove these two lines. And then now I'm going to insert our configuration builds based on the successful LDAP search. 
So one moment. I'll... Copy and paste this one. So all these lines in red are based on the successful LDAP query. And if you look in the documentation, uh, what I just entered there is derived from this part of the configuration on the left side. However, there is one additional line. It's the permission attribute, member of. This allows us to create uh, an administrator based on the member of. So this value is from LDAP. If we go below in the configuration, I need to add a line here as well to make sure that an administrator is a member of the right group. Okay. This should do it. So here I'm stating that an administrator should be a member of the group Edge VPN admin. And this whole line is copy and paste it from the LDAP search in which I found the L Edge VPN admin group membership of user Yan. And now we are all done. Next we can try it out. So we're going to reload this page. This is the Edge VPN, the VPN test environment. So user Yen should be should have the admin permission. If everything went okay, so now I'm going to log in, and yes, we see here a lot of uh, tabs on top, and because we see a lot of text tabs, and we can view connection information, we can see which users are there available in the system, etc. We are for sure administrator. So let's try an VPN client, if that works too, with the LDAP configuration. So here's the uh, a standard VPN client. Uh, usually educational institutes are Hard coded, so to say, in the Edge VPN app, so you can easily click on them and then log in via your familiar university web page. This is a, often this is via Sample, but in this case we have created VPN test test at edgevpn.nl. We can add that server manually. It will trigger a login, and now I'm going to log in as user Rogier, which is also available in the Active Directory. So, and you see here a successful login. And now user Rogier can successfully use the Edge VPN client. So, everything works. So, what we could we do more? Um, LDAP configuration is complete and please be aware for production purpose use LDAP S the secure variant in the LDAP configuration on the bottom uh, is described how you can configure LDAP S secure basically so it stated uh, here how with LDAP S how you can import the certificate just to be sure you connect to to have a secure fully secure link to the LDAP server um, what could you do next? You could configure VPN profiles. So, for instance, if you have students and teachers, you want to have students, for instance, in a separate IP range, you can define the IP range per group. And this is done in the profile. You can create uh, well, IPv4 ranges, IPv6 ranges. You can have uh, firewall settings for specific user groups. So basically, this is what often is being used. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for your attention.